Well, hello there, and welcome back to another special web development tutorial from Made Real Partners. This is Tech Talk, and we are going to show you how to change out the hero image on an Elementor based homepage. So, this is the homepage, and the client wants to change uh, this hero image. And so we are going to do that. Now, when other people are logged in, WordPress, uh, specifically Elementor, will ask you if you want to take over editing. And this is a great feature if more than one person is working on a site. So I'm going to go ahead and take over the, uh, the thing here. And it uh, looks like I forgot to connect the license there. So we'll do that in a little bit. So uh, what we're going to do is remember that in Elementor, you have sections here. And then you have rows here, and then you or columns rather, columns, uh, and then you have modules. So sections, columns, and modules. Any page builder typically has two to three different groups of uh, of organization like that. So here, what we did was we set a background on the section. Now you can set a background in Elementor. You can set a background on a column. Uh, many times you can set a background on a specific element like this heading element. But for this one, it's a section. So we're gonna click on the section. And in Elementor, you have three tabs that are common to almost every feature of the interface. You have a layout tab for a section. Uh, other modules might have something else here, like let's take a look here, content uh, for the image module, content for the heading module. But on the uh, section, you have your layout, and then you have style and advanced. And this is common throughout all of Elementor, which is great. So we're going to click on the style tab, and you'll notice the first little drop down you have here is background. Now you can collapse that and see you have overlay, border. You have multiple options for the section. The section is in blue. But we're going to do background, and you can pick your normal background, what it is well, normally, or you can pick a background when you hover over. We're not messing with that. All we're doing here is we're going to change out this image. So uh, to do that, we're going to click on the image. And we have a bunch of options in our image library. At the moment, uh, we do not have the image that is needed. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and download that image to my local computer here. Uh, so I'm going to do that in another window that you can't see, but you can take it by faith that it is being downloaded. And then I will uh, just simply drag it. There we go. All right, all I need to do is drag over the WordPress interface and it loads it up. We click Insert Media and the new background is here. Now this is important to note, when you are giving a background to a section, you have several different ways to format it. Uh, you have your default, which is I think top center, uh, you have center left, uh, top left. There's different places you can anchor. And the reason that matters is because when you are scaling a page, uh, in fact, let me see if I can show you that now. There we go. When you're scaling a page, guess what? Uh, that changes. And so you need to be able to position your image in a way that it will show up where it needs to show up. Now, this is also related to the size feature. Uh, and I recommend keeping it on cover because that's going to automatically fill the space. You can set it to auto, which uh, it's kind of hit or miss what auto actually means. This is where you can actually see better how this position affects the placement of the image. But notice that we have all this white space. Why? Because we have predetermined that this section should be large. Uh, we do that on the layout tab, by the way. The height of this section is set to fit to your entire screen. So that means your image, your background image, also needs to be able to fill that space. That's where the cover mode comes in. You can play with other things like contain. Contain means that this will get as big as it can while still showing you the entire image. Um, but like I said, cover is typically the best option for this sort of application. So again, we have bottom center, uh, we have top center. These are two different ways to do things. I'm gonna put center, actually I'm gonna put bottom center for now because uh, that probably is gonna work. Uh, now the second thing to consider uh, after you have set up how you want it to look on your desktop is to see if you can make it work on a mobile device. This is where Elementor is really helpful with its responsive mode. 
Clicking the responsive mode button gives you the option to preview how your site will look on a tablet. So notice this is going to need some work and how it's going to look on a mobile device. Now notice this changed. Why is that? Because you can define a different background for a mobile device and for a tablet and for a desktop. So in some cases, you might want to have an entirely different format for your background. For this, we're going to use the image we were given, but notice now the sides are cut off. Why is that? Because remember that the cover size has one goal, fill the space. And in this case, it's zooming in all the way so that it fills the space. So we need to do one of two things. We can get a different image that's vertically oriented, or we can change this, and this time we will actually change it to contain, and we will have to adjust the spacing of this spacer element here. So this is called a spacer. This is in Elementor. Notice we have a view height. Notice also in Elementor, it shows you that you're working with a mobile element here. So if we were to change back to our desktop, you'll notice that that changes to desktop. That's important because sometimes you need to change the spacing between mobile and desktop versions. So we're going to go to our mobile format. We're going to decrease the size of this spacer. Why? Because we don't need all this extra space. All that extra space was there previously to make sure that we saw this entire image. But now we can remove this spacer. And notice if we keep bringing it down, we're making the vertical space of this section less, which is squeezing this image in because we told it, hey, make sure you show the whole image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it roughly here, and this is where you have to use a little bit of finesse, have a little bit of give and take, because uh, you know not all mobile devices are exactly this width and height. Some of them are taller, some of them are shorter. Sometimes you have to play around with different ones, but this is the basic principle. So that is how it looks on mobile. Let's go to our tablet and notice once again, uh, we have some space here that has not been set for tablet. So I'm actually gonna change that now. But notice that this is behaving very strangely. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to click back on the section and we're gonna go ahead and define that background image once again for the tablet. But you'll notice well, that didn't change. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. We know that the spacer is not pushing this out of the way. There's something else. And that is found in the Advanced tab. And you'll notice here we have a padding value, which, just like it sounds, adds a pad around any element in here. So we're actually going to decrease this. Uh, I'm going to just link these together. These are measured in pixels. You can also measure it in M units or percentage. And we're just going to decrease this once again, decrease it on your tablet. Now you say, oh, notice nothing's happening. Well, actually, we're about to find out what happens here. All right, so now we've decreased the padding to zero. Notice here's our spacer. All right, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, and yet, our image is still not there. Oh, yes. You may remember we said earlier that we wanted to anchor this. So we're going to actually anchor this at the top center. And now it worked. Now the other thing is we have all this extra space. And why is that? Well, remember that there are multiple ways to move things around in Elementor. And so what we're going to do is go back to layout and we're going to change the height of this section. We're going to change the height to a minimum height and we're going to call it, uh, call it 800 pixels for now and you'll notice now that we can actually fine-tune that yeah so we'll just call it 560 and there you go now we've fixed it um, now I'm actually gonna finish the video here and I uh, just realized I think I need to go and adjust this um, this navigation so <laughs> I'm gonna fix that but that's the basic idea on how to change the background image for a section. We'll go back to our desktop view here. You click on the blue little grabber uh, icon there, go to your style tab, change your image, and make sure that you anchor it the way that you want it to appear. Uh, that's it. We're going to hit update and finish this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.